Alrighty. I think we're just in going in the battle. Time for the battle. I don't know what uh, Geralt's drink of pressure, drink of preference would be. Have you forgotten that they've come to pillage, burn, and steal our land? Are we to give it away? No. Wait for the signal. There's no time to lose. Silence. Is it? Is it too loud? Archers. Or do you think it's good? Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Get them! Catch the enemy standard! Thank you, thank you. What is this? Wait, are they my guys? Ow. I was just like, fuck it. Geralt, what is your deal? What are you doing? What is happening? That's how my eat it. dogs here. You need to tell the commander we were ambushed. We can't hold without reinforcements. I'm to tell him. No, syphilis. Move it, imbecile. Before they slaughter us to a man! I shall make it. First battle. Killed my first man. Got blood on my hands. <sighs> Informed? You want me to go that way? Okay, uh... Oh, okay. And then there, all the medieval expert people too were like fire arrows. Like you only use that if My Lord, you want to set something on fire. We like because if your we arrow have... hits its mark, your scouts keenly watching the battlefield, uh, Captain. If your yes, if your sir. arrow hits its mark, like the person should be like hurt or dead, right? <laughs> like why would you need fire on top of that? <laughs> Ten lashes to each scout. Hang every third one. Who is this? My lord, we need support. There will be no reinforcements. You must hold. And you can I don't know what that this is. After the, battle, the king will learn of your incompetence. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. Remember, I'll make a report too. I have to rewatch it. I, I don't remember. To you, which... Time to win this I've been meaning to rewatch Game of Thrones. 
Not the last season, just like some of them. <laughs> I didn't finish it because I saw like how how everybody kind of everybody kind of uh, hated it. Hold on. And I, I know like what happened, but I was still just kind of like stupid. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you finished with me, but that doesn't mean I finished with you. What is happening? Nadovesave. How can we help you, Sabrina? My place at Hensel's court is threatened. Furthermore, if Vandergrift wins the battle, nothing will stop Hensel from taking up Eddie. The balance of power in the north will be upset. What do you intend? I shall summon Melgar's fire to the battlefield. It will kill Vandergrift and weaken both sides. Any use of unconventional weapons may be severely censored. I'm aware of that. Hensel's hegemony is counter to the Lodge's plans. We will help you, but remember, in the event that you fail, you'll be on your own. I am ready. That's all you've got? You're dying fast! Like roaches under my boot. Is there a kid money to match? Sell Kirk of Gallic on this field. This is so stupid. <laughs> Goddamn. Oh, why? Why don't I care? He will kill you. Selkirk does not fear death. When you die, your soldiers will die every day afterwards. Forever. Leave. This is a task for a witcher, not a knight. I do the soul. So you're latest. I still have to read. <laughs> still have to read. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck, dude. And what am I supposed to do about this? Ah. do I have to redo? <laughs> is the main question. Notice how, like, there's, like, zero opportunities 
to take any potions. <laughs> and you definitely can't take them. Um, what's it? Uh, in the middle of the battle. Ah, my god. Uh, you can't take them mid combat. It doesn't give you the opportunity to take potions mid combat in this game. Witcher 1, you can. I don't know about Witcher 3. But Witcher 2, you can't take health potions when you're in the middle of a fight. You have to do it before the fight. Um, if they give you a chance to do that, which they don't. <laughs> they did not give me zero opportunity to take any potions. <laughs> so I have to do this potionless, because I actually went into this battle. I'm not this particular one. Um, with potions active, but they're all gone. Ow. Ugh. Dumb. Fucking dumb. So that's why I rage <laughs> during this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went into this like whole like sequence with potions active. But so much happened. It's just been fight after fight after fight. Um, all my potions are gone. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> I got a little, a little aggressive there. Oh my god, that could be fatal. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, run, run, run. <laughs> I'm... Why can I not beat him? I just like unlocked my Let's anger. <laughs> my ultra instinct just activated. Why are they doing this? As the prophecy said, the time will come when sorceresses turn on their flaming balls rain from the sky, and destruction will be unleashed. What should we do? Fight him for death! I shall lead you as a shepherd leads his flock, safely from the dark abyss. God, I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired. I don't care about these characters. And this whole like, storyline is boring. <laughs> What are we doing? Where are we going? How am I? What? Uh. Uh. Is it this way? Run, I guess? This way? <sighs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Sabrina, is that your work? Order your troops forward, your majesty. The Adernian army is rooted. Not only the Adernian. Look at that terrified horde. This very morning, they were the finest of my knights. They'll make it if they're reinforced. Who allowed you to use magic? I love Witcher 1. So strike now, your mark will be Witcher 2 is... it's shit. Brought death for dozens of knights. Like, if you could... If you could feel what I'm feeling, like, with, um... Like, how I'm controlling Geralt and, like, the different combat. Like, it's very unfair. I sentence you to death. You shall burn at the stake. I will return to claim my birthright. Um, it's just, and the characters monologue way too much in Witcher 2. Whereas, like, in Witcher 1, at least the, the, like, Dialogue. It was either interesting or it was July either necessary. 1270, the forests of Angren. No mighty mortal. Most of this, I'm just like, get to the fucking point. Strike of the lizard's tail. Letho couldn't either. 
but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. No idea what that was about. Hmm. Finally awake? Where are we? In one of the safest places in the camp, my friend. Um, the brothel. brothel. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm hoping. I've I I heard. I I know. I knew people were telling me like when I was um considering playing this game that it's not a good game, but I still wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt. But if I'm being honest, like, I could have gone without playing this game. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Do you come here to fuck? That is not kidding. what I meant. My friend on his deathbed? <laughs> I, I couldn't possibly do that. Look around. You're in a whorehouse. In a professional capacity only. How did I wind up here? I found you out in the fields. Unconscious. The fog. Gone. Three days ago. Mm hmm In that time, Roach ventured deep into Kedwen on some secret mission. Managed to go off and come back. Don't talk about Larry from Halo, all right? That guy was shit. <laughs> I'm sick of that man. <laughs> Memories coming back. Right. <laughs> Larry. Larry hurt my heart. <laughs> ah. So, did you get a look at another chapter of the epic poem titled Geralt of Rivia? I remember who helped me track down the wild hunt. Who? Letho, Foltest's murderer. I saved his life and he knew where to find the wild hunt. I don't know if we rescued Yennefer. So, what happened while I was out? Loads. You drove off the fog of specters. Henselt learned of the plot against him and Deathmold lost it completely. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, how's Henselt? What did you what mean when you said that Death Mold's lost it? Like, is he Hensel angry? chewed him out for not telling him about the plot. Then he chewed him out again for failing to find the plotters. Death Mold's an ambitious guy. I can see how the stress might have gotten to him. That ambitious guy has had every last suspect arrested. Now he's interrogating, torturing, and hanging them. Yeah. He always goes back to what he does best. Okay, how's Hensel? Why has Hensel waited to attack? The Kedwini nobles and officers are holding out for privileges. They want assurances there'll be no treaty with Nilfgaard, and that they'll get lands in the Pontar Valley. Hensel's agreed. Not on your life. He blew up. Roared and wailed and called them cowards. Thing is, he can't alienate the nobles completely. It went on for three days. Finally, he convinced part of the army, probably promised him a thing or two, and moved against Vergen. The battle's probably just getting underway. Any news on who might be behind the plot? They arrested Breitfeldt, Kiram of Kangorn, and Gunnar Bleckenhove and his entourage, but I haven't heard any details. Though I do know where to find the leader of the plotters. How come? I've always maintained that brothels are some of the best places under the sun. They're not only great places to... Get to the point, Dandelion. I overheard Whistling Wendy talking. Incidentally, don't let her nickname fool you. She's got a beautiful... Focus, Dandelion. Haven't the faintest who she was talking to. Never saw his face. But I heard him clearly. Further instructions from the boss. Today, in the hut on the cliff. Dandelion, there's one more thing. Tell me. Your pamphlet. If Death Mold finds out. Right. We need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Quick. I'm not about to leave you behind, Geralt. Adventure awaits. Kingdoms teeter. Plenty of things to write up in ballads. <laughs> Damn it, Dandelion. Game's get over. it. Can't you see that? Come on, Death pick up the pace. You. You've got to go <laughs> somewhere far from the Pontar. I know. I did just for you, Schwager. I added some color. <laughs> All right. Because that's actually that was actually the second I'll time I've heard. Say hello to some of people her old friends. were having but trouble. Just as soon as this blows well, over, I added some color to it. I know. We have unfinished business to take well, care hopefully of. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> what now, Geralt? I need to find Sheila <laughs> and the Kingslayer. Then I need to get my memory back. First. I'm gonna find out who's behind this plot, though I expect I already know. Think it's Sheila? Leave, Dandelion. Hide. 
And I'll see you soon, old friend. <laughs> we must rid ourselves of that damned mage, whatever the cost. If it were that simple, you'd be Viceroy by now. Uh, Mages don't die easily, and you nothing left. I don't remember who any of these characters are, if I'm being honest. Peekaboo! Three years ago, you promised financial assistance. We were to convey information and resist Death Mold and his supporters in most matters. Nothing's changed. But it has! Foltest and Demoven had their throats slit. Someone we know not who wanted to slaughter the unicorn. The situation's fucking tense, and Death Mold's stronger than ever. More importantly, you've nothing to offer us. The Temerian treasury is closed to you. Gentlemen, you forget what will happen if the king learns of our dealings. We'll not be intimidated, Rose. I don't know. And remember, <laughs> you speak to nobles. I've been in Kedwin for three days. Traveled through uh, nearby the, villages. The unicorn town, is the first I've heard. Friends, this is the first the I'm hearing of any kind of unicorn. <laughs> the people of Kedwin detest Death Mold and his thugs. They await the man who would dare to wring his neck. Someone approaches. Weapons. Easy there. What the swive in hell is he doing here? He woke up and walked over, if I am to guess. Mm. We didn't approve this. How did he know of our meeting? Something I'd like to know as well. Geralt, I have my way. I like that. Unimportant. But it is. If you know, others might know. Overheard a conversation between Whistling Wendy and one of you gentlemen. How dare you, freak? I have a wife. It's shot. Uh. It's all shot, Roach. We return to our banners to aid the king in battle. Your plot is done, dissolved, having achieved nothing. Gentlemen. Uh, how did you come to lead how the plot? How did you ever come to head a conspiracy in a Kedweni camp? It's a long story. Literally. Foltest and I devised the plan three years ago. Shortly after, Hensel burned Sabrina at the stake and appointed Deathmold his advisor. Morale among nobles and officers was low following the failed campaign. We took advantage. I bought them off, gave them political direction. I received information in exchange. What was your aim? To sow some ferment. Prevent any alliance with the Black Ones, and generally limit Death Mold's and Hensel's influence. Mm. You were gone three days. Been back at the camp? Any idea what's going on there? I haven't. But continue to get news from those traitors. Who have they arrested? Dandelion mentioned Breitfeldt, Kirim of Cainghorn, and... Not good. Kirim has been one of the plotters since the beginning. He knows me. Maybe the interrogators have yet to start on him. Quickly, back to the camp. We need to warn Vess and the others. We've no time. <sighs> okay, okay. The other thing I'll say is this. Okay, so Witcher 2 is like super political. Witcher 1 was more personal like the story was more personal to Geralt like the main the main plot um whereas like all of this is pretty like impersonal the new characters though I love Roach I think he's a great character um to add the rest of them can all they can all die like of the original for, like from Witcher 1 finally you're here Oh, we're we're fighting, right? I'm walking into a thing. Hey, that's my friend. Finishing move. Hey? Where'd everyone go? They were invited to a banquet. How do you know? I saw Death Mold's messenger arrive. 
What is this feast? A celebration. Apparently Death Mold exposed the leader of some conspiracy. The syphilitic prick. Where's this banquet taking place? The camp canteen. But it'll be empty now. Everyone's marched on Vergen. Quickly. Finally, you're here. I'll kill the sons of bitches. They'll suffer and die long and painfully. No, you. Yeah? Jeez. Oh, I put my sword away like a fucking idiot. Like a fucking idiot. That's me. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all need to line up one at a time. Okay? One at a time. Come on, fire. And uh let's do some uh, let's 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 get rid of some of our other our other stuff, you know. Hmm. You're poisoned! You're all poisoned! Just chilling now. <sighs> Roach. Roach, I'm gonna walk them around, alright? And you just you just you just fire at them. Look at Roach. <laughs> She's figuring it out. <laughs> Fucking welcome. Okay. What are we doing? What is all this? Why are why are they killing them? Do I care? <laughs> I'll kill the horses. Every last one. Are those his men or something? Is that what they said? I'm not really paying attention that much, to be honest. Oh. It's... what's her... what? Okay. <laughs> He's like, you smell good. <laughs> Did they have this kind of relationship? Wouldn't she go to Roach, you know? What happened? Like, I feel like she would have, like, a better relationship with Roach. He said the king was grateful that we'd helped reveal the plot. Or is this one of those you go towards two barrels of wine away person from... you're like attracted said, to? <laughs> you said Vernon had just returned from Kedwin. You're just like, oh, well, come here. He was to be personally decorated by the king. And I was to be there to see it. The lads went to the canteen. I went to the royal tent. Well, Roach was not in the king's company. Deathmold jumped around like an ape, shouting that they'd all hang his punishment for Flotsman for conspiring. Vess, what did they do to you? I begged them. I pleaded. They laughed at me and let me go. Your Majesty, I have the graphics withdraw your order, I beg you. They're normal fighting men who were just following orders. I don't think they don't so. deserve to die. 
Please, sire, show mercy. They're men of honor. They deserve better. Honor? Where was your honor when... Death mold. <laughs> exactly, Phil. Uh, I'm not sure about the graphics. I don't think I lowered them. I can double check, though. Know of honor? You're a stupid I don't know if this is the highest graphics. And that is how I shall treat you. But the your only days, time I lower them is if I notice um, the, the stream is having trouble. I had to do that for, like, Resident Evil 2. Yeah, I agree. Don't oh. go there, please, Roach. Deathmold expects you to seek vengeance. He awaits it. He won't need to wait long. Don't you understand? They hanged the lads to provoke you. You were away. They had a battle to win. They didn't know when you'd return. You cannot go there. We won't. We'll follow the army. Kill every kid Winnie we meet. That's suicide. Speak for yourself. Allow it all. Mm. Everything I loved died in this tent. My country disintegrates. My friends cruelly murdered. I want blood. As do I. You've no idea how much. I can still smell that swine on me, but I'll not let them win. Attack Hensilt now. Among his army and blood will flow. Agreed. But it will only be yours. Bess is right, Roach. Better go for now. Fuck! What do you suggest I do? We'll try to get to Vergen through the ravines. I know a hidden path into the town. With the battle raging, we won't be noticed. We'll find Shiva and get the Kingslayer. And in the process, kill as many Kedwenis as we can. Vess, can you manage it? Vess stays. I'll not put her in danger again. And someone must get back to the Percival and its crew. Sail to a nearby cove. We'll need some way to get out of here. I'll take the boat around the bend past the camp and await you there. We must hmm. head through the ravines. Shit, shit, shit. Vess is lying. Oh, no. I'm actually curious. Uh, graphics. Oh, this is all I got. Yeah, I haven't said anything. I haven't changed anything. Yeah, there's not much. Yeah, I haven't reset anything, so this is just, I guess... <laughs> I don't know if that helps you. <laughs> I, can her my life. I can't believe she escaped death mode. Oh, we think that she's kill Hensolt, then the death Yeah. Or maybe the other way round. What do you advise? I advise you to shut up and keep your eyes and ears open. Pleasure comes later. Oh, so we think she's a traitor. Well, I mean It's usually the way the cookie crumbles in this game. All the women are traitors. Actually, the way it goes in this one. No time to lose. A troll. Watch troll? it. You break your neck with a single blow. Do I look like a cow? I know. They do. They get into games, man. Who are you? What? What? Uh, we're just passing through. We're passing through. We just trolls kill. Me kill. Not easy. Run. Old man coming. Old man rip apart you. Calm down, you silly cow. We're on our way to Vergen. Where want run, go. This way, not. My home is. Folk in and out. No peace for troll. Father, father. Who uh. does? Folk. Geralt, let's end this beast suffering. She knows something. Wait. Because last, the last troll. You? Try to remember. We shall <laughs> shine head here come. Fat. Did you speak to him? Tried, but he my face. Thwack. Old man called. Beat in your missus. He sword show. Blood springs. Old man down. Wounds. I don't think the trolls are necessarily bad. Loman. Anyone else come through? Loman? Anyone else pass through this way? Lady came out fog. Awful reeked. What did she look like? Show me, lady. Anything more specific? Head strange, horns huge. I Sheila. don't know what that means. Say Vergen go, more nothing. You mean Lockmoyne? So said. We shall say rushed, other he'd take old man's. You mentioned that already. Good to chat. 
No harm in talking, see? <sighs> Sleep I. Run out go. Sweet dreams. Old man see, tell not wake me. I want sleep. Yeah, the, the trolls are usually okay. Oh no, okay. Hey, don't fight that troll. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Self-troll. From Gully come. There, my missus. Her see? We did, yes. She? How? She's fine? She's all right, but don't wake her or she'll rip your head off. Dear old bug. Right, <laughs> missy. Live a flesh she. All right. There you go, bud. Get back to your woman. Oh, he didn't do this, right? <laughs> cool. Keep getting him. Keep getting him, Roach. He has no idea who's hitting him. He can't even fathom. Get him, Roach! Yeah, teamwork. Roach, Roach doesn't even have to look this way to get him. What a guy. <laughs> what a fucking guy. <laughs> What's up? Looks like death ball is peeking about the same. I'm trying to switch between my fucking opponents. Don't worry, Roach. There's no one else. I'm sure of it. You, you don't want to go past this door, though. You, you wait right there. It's fine. <laughs> Witcher Geralt and Vernon Roach. His eye. Now that's some pairing. Out of our way, Pangret. Come on, Roach. You know this is no chance meeting. You never appear anywhere by chance. Always turning up where the pay's best. I also turn up where the pay is best. Think you're superior because you <laughs> wiped the royal arse. Sad. Kill them. No, you. Come on, Roach. You got it. Come on, Roach. Here. No, it was all you, dude. I I didn't do anything. Hmm. That fire just it just appeared there. But this way. Ah, they're busy. Let's go back. We'll set a we'll set a schedule. We'll we'll set an appointment. That that's death mold and what's his face? You said you'd got rid of them. You'll pay for my people, you whore's son, for each and every one of them. So don't underestimate them this time, and never let me down again. Uh oh. Good thing I fucking took some. You 
You are not the only one who can use magic. Ellie, but yours is kind of hurts a bit more, I think. Step. Yeah. Ow. The perfect bow for you. Don't chase me. Did he, like, summon something or some shit? Oh, my cat potion. Yeah, it is in, in the in the show. Um, I don't know if that's what it's based off of, though. Because I haven't played all the games and read all the, all the <sighs> stuff yet. That was a good fight. I'd forgotten how well you witchers do sword in hand. In Witcher 3, the, the horse's what, name uh... is Roach? You then maybe this man. guy dies. That would suck. I like him. I do like the character. Wasn't even there. Hanselt ordered your man killed. On Death Mole's urgent. Roach has been very, mercy, very nice to us <laughs> in Witcher 2. I don't know what I'd do in your position. But should you decide to spare me, you have my word I'll go and stay out of your way. Uh, let's have some mercy. You do you, because he's. Go where you will. Next time, I'm not too. I'm not too worried about this Perhaps guy. Perhaps it's time to rest. Got a woman in Tredegar, Julian. She's expecting. I oh you man. I was worried though because I do know about like the horse, the horse's name being Roach, in the show. So I'm when I met this character, I was like, oh god, I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> Take it. He's not a bad character. He's probably one of the best. Like, he's literally, like, Farewell, of, like, the new both. characters, he's the See only one that I like, time. like, from Witcher 1. Um, like, he he's new because you just meet him in Witcher 2. Like, and I only prefer, like, the, the characters from Witcher 1 so far. Like, Roach is the only, only new one that I like. He doesn't die. He probably is gonna die. Oh, my other potions active. Holy fuck. Golden. Thought it was. They turned their, like. Their voice volume is way too low. Pencil's about to get whooped. Bear arse than all. Dandelion could have stayed. Now, the will fall. Get out of here while you can. Oh, there'd be nothing dwarven about that. Leaving my mates! Just don't get killed. Don't get killed yourself. You did it. As soon as Vergen's victorious, I'll find Dandelion. I owe that much. Incidentally, what are you doing here? Tracking Sila? Staying in the house of that other That's the one. It's the furthest to the north. Shortest way is across the road. Listen, she has a secret advantage of standing beyond the city wall. There. One more thing. Surrounded blocks. Just hold up in the town hall with a handful of stones. Um, well, I'm assuming... There's the bridge, let's go. Roach. Uh-oh. Roach is so cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, my friend who played this game 
I was asking him what, it, what he thought about it, and he was pretty much like... Like, put it on easy, and just enjoy the story. He's like, you're... Like, you will not be happy. Like, the combat is god-awful. And I should have known. I should have listened to him. <laughs> I should have trusted my friend. <laughs> Where are they? No idea. Tell me or I'll... Don't make me laugh. You wouldn't let me out of your life anyway. Wait, That's we're so fighting him now? Ah, what the fuck? Him. Why? Wait, wait. Why do I have to do this in this tight space? Alright, line up. Ah, I missed. Excuse me? Pardon me? Excuse me? My uh, Ayata. You can certainly fence. It seems I've met. Why are we match. talking? Slit his throat. You've won the battle. Done. But lost the war. The city's in my hands. Why is this my problem? You think I care? You think I care about the city? Roach? You... And you're in mine. Uh oh. Roach, what are you doing? For the good of the Temerian crown, Vernon Roach is prepared to do anything. If needed, he becomes a murderer and requires others to do the same. Bernard Lorido had only disdain for the world, gave it nothing but suffering. I helped Roach, joined him and his people, and I had to face another choice. Killing the commander of a forgotten trading post is not the same as killing a king. Even if both are murderers and... What? Vernon Roach, Temerian Cockerel of the Blue Stripes. What will you do with me? You know perfectly well. You won't kill me. You wouldn't dare. I'm the King of Kedwin and soon of Lormark. The North won't survive without me. I've won. Do you know why I rushed into battle? Do you? I had to resolve it before Loch Muin. He's playing for time. Let's kill him. Wait. Tell us, King. What's going to happen in Loch Muin? <laughs> Something flew. <laughs> A new world order. New borders. Everything will change. All the kings and princes of the north will be there. Do you know the old saying? He who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. Have the mages been invited? It's their idea. They want to revive the council and conclave. They want to regain their rights and privileges, their place in society. What tripe. I've outsmarted them all. I'll be the one to dictate treaties. I'll show them who's ruler. You had my men killed. Of course I had them killed. What do you do with spies in Temeria? Give them awards? None of those hanged were part of the plot. Only me. You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Your villainy knows no bounds. What do you call villainy? The fact that I've made Ketwen stronger than ever? You fool. I'm the last ruler of the North whom Nilfgaard must respect. And it will. Witcher, reason with him. Did, did he touch Vess? Did he really? Are murder and royal virtues of the New Order too? Every wench dreams of being plowed by a king. Oh, he doesn't deny Vess, it. Did she complain to you? I thought she liked it. She squeaked like an unoiled hinge. He's yours. I'm leaving you two alone. Squeaky hinge. Funny. Very funny. You wouldn't dare. Enough of this plowing chatter. Someone needs to die, and I'll sleep better for it. I'm not looking. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. 
I am Henselt of Ardkarig, the last of the unicorns. Oh. I won't beg for mercy. Look me in the eyes. Go on! Take your revenge! <laughs> A flea has bitten a lion. Aye. It's open. <laughs> hey, Roach did his thing, all right? <laughs> I'm a witcher. We're neutral. We don't, we don't get involved. We know what happened here. It's lonely well, human it business. <laughs> I'll erase it from my memory. Sheila teleported herself to Loch Nguyen. Where there's Sheila, there's Letho. The murderers are gathering for their peace talks. We have to be there. Sheila to Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But Regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Your humble servant and chronicler was forced to flee the Pontar Valley, as he very well might have paid with his life for his heroic stand against King Henselt. And to allow oneself to be humbly slaughtered, consigning to oblivion this account of incredible events, would be a grave transgression against the arts and letters. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. I'm thinking this should be chapter three now. I swear I haven't played before. <laughs> Has Radovid's messenger been by? <laughs> yes, sir. And what did he say? Tamaria cannot survive. The kingdom will be divided. The nobles are riled. Constable Natalis stands on shaky ground. Hmm. The loyal old Natalis will get kicked in the ass. How predictable. And they nearly reached an agreement, but without Voltaire's daughter, it didn't work out. Perfect. Are the quarters ready? There is a little problem. Then we must look at this problem. Oops. <laughs> I mean, it's biodegradable, I guess, but rude. <laughs> There's no door. We can't lock her in a doorless cell. I can see that, you fool. Out of my way. Uncle Deathmo will cast a tiny spell on your little house. Versa Anem. God's most precious gift. What the fuck? Clear up in here. This is Loch Muin, not a bloody pigsty. Who is this? Oh, is this Foltest's daughter? One of the king's daughters? Oh, bollocks, Geralt. Marshal Rorpenek was a cruel, bloodthirsty prick, true. But the times were different. He had his men murder every last elf in Loch Muin. For years, Jorveth and his ilk have been using that banner to wipe their asses clean of the shit they do. In wartime, a commander's forced to make all kinds of decisions. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and I'm sure it lay really heavily on Ropenek's conscience. Bollocks again. I've already admitted he was a prick. Are you defending the Enche? They've got barrels of blood on their hands as well. With the Vrans gone, we had to safeguard this source of the power, safeguard this historic city. Huh, elven drip. Heaps of lizard-like bones were found in nearby caves, all bearing traces of sword cuts. Uh, think what you will. I'm more interested in the city's current inhabitants. 
Why am I worried you're going to do something really stupid once we get there? Above all, I'll find the cure to my suffering. Death Mold was just a pawn in Hensel's hands. Death Mold is a bloody murderer, and Hensel was a king. The king I killed. He didn't believe I'd do it till the very end. Nor did I. It's not something I want to discuss again. I don't know if I'll ever strike those images from my mind, but I know I don't want to talk about it. Taking revenge on Death Mold won't change a thing. If you want to take revenge, it's all on you, but I'm not going to stop you. Because Witcher 2 has been exhausting. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's kind of turned me off a little bit from, from Witcher for a while. I just need a break. <laughs> and there's, there's other games I want to play too. So that, that's mostly the reason. Also because I've been this is so angry at this game this most of the time I've been playing it. <laughs> After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know who's bigots. Don't worry about the knights. Not so long ago I saved their asses. They ought to remember that much. That was before you were accused of regicide. This is no man's land, Geralt. Anything can happen here. I'll vouch for you where I can, but that'll only get you so far. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine. Here goes my best bud. Off to save the world. Or... Exact revenge, which is kind of the same thing. Which of Geralt of Rivia is with me. I trust you. Halt! And who might you be? I didn't realize I was supposed to follow him. Rivia, the man I mentioned. So you did. Question is, where's the truth in all this? Everyone says the Witcher killed Foltest. You're the only one claiming he didn't. Ernan's telling the truth? Well, I feel like that doesn't matter much from coming from the accused. Why are you, you here? You shouldn't even be here. Radovid invited us. What exactly are you doing here? That's none of your concern. Be along with you. Looks like Radovid doesn't believe the peace talks will end peacefully. You can be sure of one thing. Not a soul is to be trusted in this city. Not a soul to be trusted. Uh, sup? Geralt of Rivia. I'd sooner expect to see you in a Temerian dungeon. Yeah. Didn't much like it. Though it would be perfect for the man Vernon Roach and I are looking for. I've heard much about the commander of the Blue Stripes. I'm honored to meet the Grand Master. A position I owe most certainly to Geralt. Only you can guide the Order through the necessary reforms. Wait, what? Who is we this? We are doing our best. You've got yourself into a fine pickle, Geralt. That's why I came to Loch Muin. Why are you here? The Order supports King Radovid. Do you Who is this? He requested it himself. I heard these were peace talks. Peace is very easy to discuss. Much harder to maintain. They mention his name. What is his name? What are your orders? Radovid is a young king with all the necessary qualities to become a great leader. We aim to make this a reality. Gaining nothing by it? He has granted us land. The order does not bite the hand of Is this Siegfried? So, you ought to intervene if the talks don't go Redania's way. I believe diplomacy will prevail. At a summit, everyone is pulling their way. Is this Siegfried? Knowledge that Knights of the Order are stationed just outside the city walls should prevent the situation from getting out of hand. What can we expect to see in Loch Muir? The delegations have entrenched... <laughs> I need to know, did they say his name? ...barricades as if preparing for a siege. You can never be too <gasps> So long, Siegfried. Siegfried! What the fuck is <laughs> My god, you're... It's so crazy to see him! <laughs> What the fuck? Look at this guy. We went through so much together in Witcher 1. Oh my god. I was wondering if we were gonna see him. <laughs> nice. I'm so ex- uh, This makes me so happy. Hi. Uh, I love Geralt you. Viridian. I still love you. This man. Mm. This was our old- Like our old partner in crime. Cause right now it's Roach, but it used to be Siegfried who had our back. 
That's so crazy. I'm so glad. I was like staring at him too. I was just like, this... And then they said Knights of the Order. I was like, Siegfried, my guy? <laughs> that's so... That's great. I'm, I'm happy we got to see Siegfried. Oh, did, uh, did Roach tell me to do something? I was not paying I lost you. Your chat with uh, yeah, sure. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. I commander. Do well by the emperor, and the emperor will do well by you. Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? Ah, uh, we have information. We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. <laughs> Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. The Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose will vouch for us. Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass, then, if your news is so important. But one word from the King and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. You worry about yourself. All right. <laughs> Roach, you never hold the door open for me anymore. Stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kidman. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I'd take pleasure in seeing Kidman picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos. So you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. Why is it this way? Why is the king so far in here? What's up? What do you want? He wouldn't here? listen. He's just as out of order. I remember when he rode to Vizima. Something's brewing, right? Didn't want advisors, no bodyguards. My god, Roach, where'd you go? Well, he's capable of defending himself. Uh, Roach belongs to me! Hi. <laughs> oh. You. <laughs> uh, this is how I am, like. an audience with the king. Yes. The king will receive you. Uh, what's it? If I'm, like, out at the store or whatever, like, you can't take your eyes off me. <laughs> because I just get, like... Just like, oh my god, look at that! <laughs> I just, like, end up alone <laughs> at the time. <laughs> People have to come back and find me. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. Thanks. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never yeah. thought they'd make a soldier out of you. He does. Roach is Vernon Roach is a friend. He's in uniform, sure. But that's meaningless. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Tamaria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Pontar Valley by force. And a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Hensult was butchered in Bergen. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanet. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Hensult invited them. Before he died. Yeah. Shillard Fitzestelen would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensult would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? Uh, that's true. But we technically also let another person kill him after that. But he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> I killed a would-be assassin. Pure coincidence. I just happened to be there. Things like that oft seem to happen to you. 
Do you know how he died? Yes, I wasn't there. Oh god, should I lie or should I tell the truth? Fuck. This is one of those things where it's like, does he really need to know? Like, if I say yes, is what you're gonna- is, uh, Geralt gonna go, like, into the whole, yeah, the man beside me killed him. You know, or is he just gonna be like, yes? And then is it gonna be like, do you, like, how did he die? And then I'll get, like, another, like, option to tell him? Or is it, like, if I say yes, is he- is Geralt just gonna go into the, the explanation? You know? Or should I just lie and be like, mm hmm? I don't know, I don't know. I wasn't there. The first lie of the day. And the negotiations have yet to begin. <laughs> Roach is like, just How tell him. How can I help you if you're not honest with me? Uh, 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 fine, let's just go truth. Penciled had Roach's unit murdered. I can't call it anything else. In doing that, he signed It's literally none death of sentence. the king's business, in the chaos to be honest. That followed the Battle of Vergen. We caught up to him in one of the houses. I killed him because it had to be done. It was just. A death mold is next on the list. That is the only reason I won't have you hanged, Vernon Roach. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. Uh, he's representing Tamaria? If Tamaria is in turmoil... Oh, I didn't mean to Talis, click. The hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Who's representing Kedwin? Only the sorcerer Deathmold and his men are in Loch Muin. But Deathmold represents himself. Sheila de Tanzer, though, is behind the murderers that hit Tamaria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? Found out from the dying killer, I know thanks to Deathmold's. Well, both of these are true. Which is more persuasive? We learned... We killed one of them in Edern. Deathmold used his magic to give me a glimpse of the past. I saw the assassin talking to others. They spoke of Sheila. One mage's magic shows another's guilt. And it's no ordinary magic, but the forbidden path of necromancy. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestel warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well... The talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Tamaria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Um, divide Tamaria. Shame on the traitors. Well, I don't want a king. It doesn't have to be that way. Or a ruler. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After the Baroness's rebellion. The girl was captured by the Nilfgaardians. The child has become a bargaining chip between the Empire and Kedwin. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt, and I'll salvage a united Temeria, and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian king's blood. What about Sheila? Easy, Witcher. I have ways to deal with impertinent sorceresses. Burn them at the stake! I have stake. managed to tame Philippa Eilhart. Why shouldn't I do so with Sheila de Tanzerville as well? The girl is most important, Witcher. I denounce our engagement and make her queen of Redania and Tamaria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee. 
and the North would emerge stronger than ever. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance with the is our only chance of Is Sheila is she's Anais. His mage, right? I still wonder Where's about Philippa? Who she's there. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmo. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. There's no question. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate. Ah, okay, I guess I'm... Okay, he's following me now. This is not good. Oh, wait, nope. Now he's leading the way. Lead the way, Roach! What's he doing here? Shut up. Stop talking about me. Like I'm not here. Okay, is this... the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Paperbrock. Oh no, you'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another mess. This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Falter's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously I was wrong, but I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Busi is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that give you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Baltist's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all. Geralt, I need to look to Anais. Learn how we're to get to the river. But Brigida might know what happened to Busi. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. Sure. All right, Roach. I'll be this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedwenny camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida. Learn what you can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Ah, she's gone now. Why not? We shall leave Lot Wien through the Order's camp. Oh, we'll go save Trish or help. Go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? Wait, 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 wait. Go save Triss or help Roach recover Foltest's children. Gosh. I don't know, man. I I kind of would rather help Roach just because Does it matter, Witcher? Triss is a pretty powerful sorceress. Sorceress. And 
Blessed be the Roach is literally fire. trying to save children. You know? <laughs> like... Too early to cry. Like I would, I would rather help some defenseless, defenseless children rather than go save Triss, especially when Triss is a powerful sorceress. Um, and then also the game started out. I don't know if Triss would appreciate us like going to save her over the children too, because I'm pretty sure she was a Foltes mage. Thus far, your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history, or do I have it? I'd rather help Roach. <laughs> he asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Foltis and Jennifer. Watch them no, I them like I like Triss. Child's play, the it's not a bad love That's interest if we're if we're going off of that. The children to look mean for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. But Soon Jennifer. Enough. Has like she's just been mentioned. She's not like a part of the games to this point. Let's go. Like we only know that we think that she's dead in this game so far. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Mm. Stay behind me. I had to fight. Alright. This is so pretty. What the fuck? Brigida, get out of my way. I wanna take a picture. Get out of my fucking way, woman! Oh my god, she's ruining my picture. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's roaches, bitch! Kill yeah? them! Is that death rolls? Oh, no. Oh, why did I fucking put my... Perfect. I just... It just... I just called upon... The gamer gods <laughs> in my time of need. <laughs> and they answered. <laughs> I did it. I'm saving never again. I did it. I gotta hook you up. Oh my god, there's more. <gasps> Brigitte, can you back the fuck up? Ow, uh... Ow! Death to all shit eaters! Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, uh, run! Okay. Please. <laughs> <sighs> you are so much trouble. <laughs> There's evil afoot. This is the smuggler I spoke of. Uh oh. Well, I ain't taking you down the frickin' river. All right. Someone's coming. No. You'll not sail off, you whore. Kill her. Oh my God. Can't fucking fight with her in the way. She's like body blocking. Oh, she's she's so fucking annoying. God fucking damn it. I'm like trying to fight the guy. She's like body blocking me by the fucking bow. I'm like, who's protecting who? Explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I, 
Like, know. just, if you want me to protect you, get the fuck away from the battle! Stay behind I mean, me! I had my suspicions. So talk. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children. But he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach. We both know that. Yes, yes. If she was a Bosch woman, she wouldn't need me around. <laughs> like, you want me to protect you? Stay away from the fight when I'm fighting. Don't body block me. It's so annoying. <laughs> I've not been paying attention. You know what the Count intends? No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, an especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. What does Baron Kimbolt want? A strong Temeria, and a strong North. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maribels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that end. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old setter. He'd be a tyrant if he had gone the crown. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. And there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. I can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed to Mary, if that's what you ask. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Lucy? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. Details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons. A safety measure, I was told. She's little. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. Like, one she's, she's a little girl. The caravan's <laughs> commander. A change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turn-off, we were attacked. Yeah. <laughs> you may not have seen the beginning of this, but we did meet Anais and uh, Busi at the start of the game. They're, they're two little kids. everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. It was mayhem. I ran for the bushes <laughs> and hid. I had them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. Okay. <laughs> you do us all a favor. No, my shopping trip is over. I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get it's out. finished. Before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. Ah, it splashed on the my last face. Time, <laughs> Tend to this matter. <laughs> I got a rebel up my nose. <laughs> Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court? Edit? I'm just snorting red bull. <laughs> I got a problem. <laughs> the high wall, but I've been asked to do so. I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no, I know who you are, Geralt of Rivia, Fortest's other favorite hound, alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring Roach? trouble wherever you appear. <laughs> um. um, um... That? Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. 
He doesn't look happy. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? But you're welcome, because I just gave it to you for free. What'll happen to Mind you. Mind you. Is that a note of nostalgia I hear in your voice? Remembering your service under Fortist or recalling some romp in the sack with the royal advisor? Whichever it may be, spare me your courtesy. You don't care a lick about my country. I asked out of concern for a friend. I came here with Vernon Roach. I know. We royal hounds like to stick together. Understand this. I'm talking to you only out of respect for Fulcast. Out of remembrance for him. I haven't seen much evidence of that remembrance, aside from the rewards on my head. Mm -hmm. They'd have you if not for the testimony of little Anais. So the girl finally talked. Whoever that one was to me, he was just like you. I didn't kill full test. That's just one of the things that makes us different. Really? What else? Honor? Principles? I'm a witcher. I don't kill humans for coin. I but kill them because it's fun. A question of price. Tell me, Geralt. What were you doing at Faltest's side that unfortunate day? I was chilling. I shouldn't have been there. Nah, that's that's honestly the truth. It's because like full or what's it? yeah full test, pretty much like made Geralt like his hound. We shouldn't have been there, but we were technically there for Triss. Triss Marigold, I was there. Yeah, I think I have one. In that case, you killed many. I have to look woman. at it. I hope she was worth it. You're a paid thug, even if you refuse to acknowledge it. That murky set of principles, values, call them. You cast them in the nearest corner when the price is right. I'm not for sale. I'm not talking about coin, Witcher. As a freak, you want what you're most often denied. Camaraderie, respect, love. It is for those things that you scale walls and murder innocents. That is your price. Uh, isn't that what everyone does? Killing for your loved ones. Hardly a new concept as I see it. You did not fight to defend the sorceress Merigold, nor the King Geralt. You fought because you wished to be close to them. They had a higher calling. They knew the cause for which He's they were He's like... He... Death is your daily fare. I don't you know, man. Like I'm kind of like on the side of... Master indicates. We should be nice to like seniors, you know? Except I remember the knights who they just think that they know more than they do sometimes. They owed it to their king. If there's one thing I love about being a witcher, it's that I never have to draw my sword on someone else's command. I tire of this discussion, witcher. Get to the point or leave. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way about you, my man. They're gonna reestablish the Conclave. I didn't expect so many Temerians to show up. It's like getting a rash We're underneath my chin right here. Some magic pomp and circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever. My kind. Wanderers and scoundrels. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for yeah, whom coin, I need one. and everything's for sale. <laughs> All right. The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? Let's just show it to him. I have it. Show me. Uh God. Uh, shh. What does us keeping it do? Because at the end of the day, it's always going to be our word versus his. So I'm fine with letting him like see it. Um, I don't know this person, so I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I need you to promise. 
What? That I'll get the letter back. I tire of your tone, Witcher. Damn. So be it. I pledge to return the letter to you. I merely want to see this original with my own eyes. It is my seal. But the hand is forged. Sloppily. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. We are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble and will be duly punished. A scribe will test a letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with giving him the benefit it's of the you. doubt. It's you! Hey, man! How are you doing? Haven't seen you in... Wait. Igor? You are... I recognize his name, but maybe there's a couple people named... Hello, you. The letter was forged. You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yeah. Yeah, it's all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Ween, his people began visiting the Nilfgaardian camp regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, it reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Metallus. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. You need a Witcher to do this? Do not underestimate Count Maravel. He does not employ common scoundrels, and I don't intend to either. Hieronymus Lash. Sound familiar? A pretentious invented name. Belongs to a bard or a mummer, I'd say. But you wouldn't need my help with either of those. So I'll venture a guess. Maravel entrusts his correspondence to a mage. I knew you were suited to this task. The magic barrier placed over the city mutes all forms of high magic, preventing Lash from contacting Schillard remotely. He nevertheless remains dangerous. During the times of the previous conclave, I believe he was caught practicing black magic. He faced execution, but that Laos Maravel saved him. Okay. How do I locate this messenger? Look for my man Aldrich by the fountain here in the camp. He'll point the mage out to you. Gamer gloves? What? <laughs> Is that it? Are you talking to... To me, or is that in relation to the game? All right, I'll look into it. <laughs> My lord, we know where they are. Jeez. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Assemble your men and resolve this once and for all. Meet with Aldrich. 